بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين These are some exercises about section 3.1 about matrices Use the following matrices for uh, all of these questions So these are some matrices And the question how many rows does matrix B have? So this is matrix B. I have one, two, three rows. So the number of rows is three. What is the order of matrix E? Well, this is matrix E. Matrix E has two rows and three columns. So the order is two by three. Which matrices have the same order as G? G is, this is G, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So the order of G is 3 by 3. A has the order 3 by 3. And also F and also Z. So A, F and Z. All of them have order 3 by 3. A, F, G, and Z all have the same order. Write the negative of D. This is the matrix D. The negative of D would be negative D. And we obtain negative D when we multiply every number, every entry in D by negative 1. So 4, 2 would be negative 4, negative 2. 3, 5 would be negative 3 and negative 5. So this is the negative of D. Which of these matrices are square? Square matrices, uh, when, this, when the number of rows equals to the number of columns. So B is not square because 3 rows and 4 columns. But A, C, D are square matrices. Order of A is 3 by 3. Order of C, of C and D 2 by 2. E is not square matrix because 2 rows and 3 columns. F, G, Z are square matrix because uh, 3 by 3, they are 3 by 3 matrices. So F, G and Z. All of these are square matrices. Right, what is the element A23? Well, A23, it means it is an element in matrix A. Second row, third column. So this is the A. This is the second row. And this is the third column. So where is the number? One. 1 is the number in the first, so A23 is 1. It is in the, the number in the, in the second row, third column. Write the transpose of matrix A. We write the transpose of matrix by uh, writing the rows as columns. So what is the first row of A? 1, 0, negative 2. We write it as column. And we call it A transpose. 1, 0, negative 2. 3, 2, 1 is the second row. It would be the second column in A transpose. 4, 0, 3 is the, the third row. It would be the third column in A transpose. So this is A transpose. If matrix A has element A3, J equals 0, what is J? Okay. So we are in matrix A. This is an element of matrix A in row 3, in the third row. But the column is not known. And this number in the third row is 0. So what is the column? So we go to the third row of the matrix A. Let me erase this. So this is the third row of the matrix A. Which number is zero? This one. It is in the third row. Which column? The second column. 
So zero is A32. And J in this question is two, the second column. Perform the operation if possible, operations. A minus F. Well, A minus F equals. They have the same order, so we can subtract them. Subtract them by subtracting uh, the corresponding elements. So we subtract this one from this one. So 1 minus 1 is 0. And then 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 3, negative 5, and so on. So the second row, for example, would be 3 plus 1, 4, 2 minus 0, 2, 1 minus 1, 0. So it would be 4, 2, 0. And the third row would be 4 minus 2, that's 2, 0, plus 3, 3, 3 plus 4, 7. So 2, 3, 7. And this matrix is the matrix A minus F. What about A plus A transpose? We This is A and this is A transpose. We add them by adding the corresponding elements. So, we start with this one and add it to the one here. So, A plus A transpose would be, the first number would be 2. And then 3 would be added to 0. So, I'll have 3. And 4 would be added to negative 2. So I'll have 2 and so on. So we have 0, 2, 0. And 3, 2, 1. So 3, 3, 1. Three, 0, 2, 0. So 3, 4, 1. 3, 4, 1 would be the second row in A plus A transpose. Because we added 0 just to the second uh, number. And negative 2 plus 4 is 2. 2, 1. 3 plus 3, 6. So 2, 1 and 6. So this is A plus A transpose. B plus F. Well, B is 3 by 4 matrix. F is 3 by 3. They have different order. So this sum is not possible. We can't. 8C minus 3D. Well, C is 5, 3, 1, 2. I should multiply by 8. So this is 8C minus 3 times D. Well, D is 4235. So to find this operation, we first multiply C by 8. So multiply 8 by each number. So 5 times 8 is 40. 8 times 3, 24. 8 times 1, 8. 8 times 2, 16. 
let me say plus and multiply each number in D by negative 3. So negative 3 times 4, negative 3 times 2, negative 3 times 3, negative 3 times 5. And now I just add these two matrices, 40 minus 12, 24 minus 6, 8 minus 9, 16 minus 15. So this is the matrix 8C minus 3D. Find X, Y, Z, and W. These two matrices are equal. So this number should be equal to this number. And this number should be equal to this number. So X should be 4. 1 is equal to 1. 3 is equal to 3. Y should be 1. And Y equals Y. That's correct. Z equals 1, 0 equals 0, and W equals 2. So these are the values of X, Y, Z, and W. Find, find X, Y, Z, and W if this minus this would be equal to this. Okay. So the left-hand side would be 3 times X minus 2 times 4X. So it's negative 8, or let me do it in steps, okay? So step by step. I will multiply first this matrix by 3. So 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times W, 3W. I write plus. Negative 2 times 4X, negative 8X. Negative 2 times 2Z, negative 4Z. Negative 2 times negative 3, 6. Negative 2 times negative 2, 4, W. So this is the left-hand side. And then it is equal to, now add, 3x minus 8x, this is negative 5x. 12 minus 4z. 12y plus 6. 3w plus 4w is 7. W. So this is the left hand side and the right hand side is as it is. Now these two matrices are equal. So negative 5x should be equal to 20, which means that x equals 20 over negative 5, that's negative 4. And here I have 12 minus 4z, this also should be equal to 20. So negative 4z would be 20 minus 12, which is 8. And z would be 8 over negative 4, which is negative 2. And 12y plus 6 should be equal to 6. So 12y is 0. If you take 6 to the other side, 6 minus 6 is 0. And when I divide by 12, y is 0 over 12 or 0. 7w equals 14. So this means that w is 14 over 7 or 2. So these are the values of x, y, z, and w. And this is the end of the exercises. Uh, Thank you very much.